Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Dick Allgaier. Pamela Young has the night off. Education for Hawaii's future generations is a key issue this election season. Candidates for governor highlighted the concerns facing parents and Keiki at a forum today. And KITV4 Shane Enright joins us live now with how the candidates say they will improve Hawaii's educational system. Shane? Well, Dick, the candidates say affordable and quality education is a top priority. Hi, guys. If elected, Democratic candidate Neil Abercrombie promises to breathe life back into the state's Healthy Star program. What began in Hawaii as a successful child abuse prevention program assisting at-risk families was nearly wiped out by budget cuts under the current administration. Healthy Start has been imitated or emulated all across the country. Why? Because from prenatal right on through till children are going to school, Healthy Start provides the foundation that we need. His opponent, Republican candidate Duke Iona, looks to expand the state's existing programs while also preparing parents choosing to homeschool their child or children. It's a matter of not only having a quality uh, um, child care programs, but also making sure that they have the, the content and the uh, certification uh, to provide that kind of quality care that our children need. After school furloughs and cutbacks, a crowd of parents and educators say they will weigh the candidates' ideas carefully before they vote. We all have to work two, three jobs, and you know, my wife and I, we balance um, our schedules to make that happen. You know, it's very impossible without programs like A+, and you know, we're looking for support. Independent candidate Thomas Pollard supports subsidized preschools for low-income families, as well as implementing a transitional kindergarten course. A lot of states have done that and had great success with uh, basically a public enrollment uh, in a pre-kindergarten class to get everybody up to par so that everybody's at the same level when they get there. Parents are hopeful the candidates will provide options, not obstacles, for themselves and their children. There's lots of systems and programs that the government can actually impose on us, and I'm kind of for the opposite, where if we can just provide resources and let the parents choose what's best for their children. The forum was hosted by One Voice for Hawaii's Children. To learn more about the organization, we have posted a link to its website on KITV.com.